In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can install Blender on Linux Mint. And I'll also show you how you can update Blender to a new version using this method of installing Blender. And at the end of the video, I'll also show you how you can save all your add-ons and your preferences when you update to a new version of Blender. Now this way of installing Blender will also work on some other Linux distributions. It won't work on all Linux distributions, but it will work on quite a few. Now I have Linux Mint Cinnamon installed on my desktop, and it also works on my laptop, and on my laptop I have Ubuntu Cinnamon. So the first thing you need to do is go to blender.org, and then you can click here on the download button. Then you can scroll down here, and it should detect your operating system automatically, but if it doesn't, you can click right here and choose your operating system, but I'm just downloading this for Linux, and I'll just click on download to download the latest Blender version. So now just find a place on your computer where you want to store the program long term. So for example, I have a folder on my computer called Blender Files, and then inside that folder I made a new folder called Blender Versions. So I can just right click, I'll click on new folder, and I'll rename this Blender Versions, and I can go inside this folder, and then I can just go to my downloads folder and cut the file which I downloaded from blender.org, and I'll just paste it right here. So when you paste the file, we just need to extract the data from the file. So I'm just going to right click, and I'll click on extract here. So now that I've extracted the zip file, I can actually delete this file. You can just delete it if you want to. And then what I like to do is just rename this folder to the Blender version. So I'll just rename this to 4.3.0, but that's totally optional. So we can just go into this folder now, and here's all the data for Blender. And you can see like here's the Blender logo. And then this here, this is the Blender launcher. Now the icons might look a little bit different on your computer because I've changed some of the icons and customized some of the themes for my Linux Mint. But you can see there's this Blender launcher. And if you open this up, that is going to open up Blender. However, Blender still isn't installed, and so I want it to act like a program, so I want it to be in my hotbar, and I want to be able to open up existing Blender files. So to add the Blender launcher as a program, you can go right down here to the bottom left, and you can right click here on the menu. Then you can click here on configure. Then you can click over here on menu, and you can open up the menu editor by clicking on open the menu editor. So this is going to open up this main menu here, and what I can do now is click down here on graphics. So I'm now going to click on new item to add a new program. So now we can actually create our own custom program. So for the command here, we can click on browse. And so for the command, we want to use the Blender launcher that we downloaded. So if I just drag this over here and drag this over here, I will click and drag and just drop the Blender launcher right here and then click on OK. The command is going to be this file that we downloaded, the Blender launcher. Now I can make the name, so I'll just call this Blender. And if you want to, you could add the Blender version. So I'm going to do that. So Blender 4. 3.0. And then also we have an icon here, so I'll click on this button. Then I can click on browse to browse an icon. And again, let's click here to go to our files. And we have the Blender logo right here, the SVG file. So I'll click and drag and drop it in here. And then I'll click on open. And then I will just select the SVG and click on select. So now we have the name, we have the logo, and we have the command which is going to launch the Blender launcher. So I'll now click on OK. And now it's been added here as a program. So I can now close the main menu here and close this setting here. And now if I click down here on the menu here, I can search for Blender, and there we go, Blender version 4.3.0. And I can open this up and there is Blender. And also if you click here to open up the menu and type Blender to put it in your hotbar, you can just click and drag and just drop it right down here, and then you can drag it around so that Blender is in your hotbar there on Linux. Now there's still a problem, and that is if I want to open up an existing Blender file project, you can see this is a .blend file. If I try to open this up, it says unknown file type. So we need to tell Linux to open up files that end in .blend with Blender. So what we're going to do is right click on this file, and we're going to click on open with other application. We're now going to add the Blender launcher that we downloaded. So we're going to go right down here and click on this file icon. This will open up this window here, and we now want to go here into Blender, and we're going to go right here to the Blender launcher, and we can click and drag and drop the Blender launcher here, click on open, and then we want to set this as the default. So what we're going to do is click on set as default, and then click on OK. So now if I try to open up any Blender file, you can see it's going to open up correctly. Now there's another important setting that you might need to change when using Blender on Linux Mint, and that is if you hold down the Alt key and then select a loop cut. But you can see here it's not working. That's because you need to click here on the menu, and you need to search for Window and open up the Windows setting. And here on the Windows setting, go to Behavior, and you can see there is this special key to move and resize windows, and you can see it's set to Alt. So if you're having that problem where you can't hold down the Alt key and select loop cuts, then you need to change this. You could change it to some other ones if you want to. I'm just going to disable it though because I don't use it, and now I can close the window settings. So now if I hold down the Alt key and select these loops, you can see I can select the loop cut. 
Now let's say there's a new Blender version and you just want to update to the new Blender version. Well, what you can do is go to blender.org and just download Blender how you normally would. And then what I do is I like to create a new folder and I like to call this the new version. So for example, let's say this is 4.3.1. So then what I can do is go into this folder and then from my downloads folder, I can just paste the new Blender version. And then again, I can just right click and I can extract the file. And then if you want to, you can delete the old Blender version if you don't want to use it anymore, or you can just hold on to it if for some reason you do want to go back to an old version. So you can go here into the new version. Then to update the Blender version, you can basically do the same thing, but just change the launcher. So again, right click down here on the menu, click on configure, then you can go to menu, and then you can click on open the menu editor. Then click down here on graphics, and instead of making a new item, you can instead just double click here on Blender. And then you can change the name, so for example, 4.3.1. You can keep the logo how it is, but then you can click on browse to add a new command. Then from your file browser with the new version, you can just click and drag and drop the Blender launcher, click on OK, and then click on OK, and then we can close this and close the settings. And now if I go here to my menu and search for Blender, you can see now it's been updated to Blender 4.3.1. And then you'll need to do the same thing for existing files, so go back to an existing file, you can right click, and then click on Open with Other Application. You can then click on this icon here to choose what application we want to open these files for. From. And then again, go into the new folder with the new Blender version. We can click and drag and drop the new Blender launcher, click on open, and then just click on set as default and click on OK. And now when you open up an existing project, it'll open up the new Blender version. Now you might be wondering how you can get back your old preferences and all the add-ons that you've installed and all the settings like your default startup file. Well, when you first open up a new Blender version for the first time, on the splash screen, there's going to be that button there, which you can click on, and that's going to to use all the settings from the previous Blender version. So that's the best and easiest way to get back all your old preferences and your old settings and default startup file. However, maybe you didn't know that setting existed, and so now maybe you clicked away from the splash screen and it's gone. Well, you can actually do this automatically, so instead of clicking on the button, you can copy the old settings and add the new settings to the new Blender version. So to do this manually, you'll want to go to your home folder, and then we want to see the hidden files. So to see the hidden files, you can press Ctrl H, or you can right click and click on show hidden files and any file which is hidden has a dot at the very starting of the file name. So now you want to go to the config file so go into the config and then we want to go to Blender. So here's Blender so I'll go into this folder and you can see here are all of the different Blender versions and each one of these folders has the settings for each Blender version. So for example if I was in Blender version 4.3 but I just updated to Blender 4.4 I could go into this folder and you can see there's all of these different files here and these are all the add-ons and preferences and default startup files. But what I can do is select all these files and I can just delete these files. So now that these files are deleted I can go back out here to the blender file in the config file and I can go to the previous blender version so I'll go here and you can see here are all the settings this is going to have all the data for the add-ons and settings and everything. So what I can do is select all these files and I'll copy them then I'll go out of this folder and go into the file for the new version and then I can just paste these files. And once it's copied over all the files, if you open up a new Blender file, you can see it's going to save all your preferences and your startup file and all the add-ons you've enabled and everything you've set up in Blender. So that's how you can install Blender on Linux Mint. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn how to use Blender, I have hundreds of tutorials on how to use Blender on my main YouTube channel, Ryan King Art, so you can check that out with the link in the description. But I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.